Hey beautiful people, I picked up Devil May Cry 5 to play with the latest Proton, and it worked, out of the box, or, well, so I thought. With 4.11.9, it launches, and you can actually play it for a solid hour, until you run into a small problem. You need MF Plat installed for the in-scene cinematics, which are part of the game, and it kind of, well, spike crashes if you don't have it together. So, let's get that together with this neat little tool from ZOZOZ, MF Install Cab. You can look that up. The links will be in the description. It's the Install Cab based Media Foundation workaround for Wine. Very simple to get working. It also works with Resident Evil 2, Evil 7, Darksiders, Warmaster Edition, and of course, Devil May Cry 5. So let's get that downloaded and extracted into a directory. We are in said directory now, and we have a DLL. We're going to use that in a moment. And we have the install MF64. Now, another thing we need to find out is the comp data ID. See, this folder is, it's going to be under Steam Games, Steam Apps, Comp Data. Now, I should have pointed out, you need to launch Devil May Cry or the game you're applying this to at least once to create the comp data folder. For Devil May Cry, it's going to be 601150, and that's going to have your wine prefix in it. It's going to be important, so you might want to copy pasta that. But let's get back to our MF install. I like saying MF, MF install cab. We're going to open a terminal, and for safety reasons, we need to have a couple of things installed already. I'm going to not assume you do. So what I'm going to run is apt install. I'm on a Debian, Debian 10. So this should work with Debian and Ubuntu derivatives. I'm going to install wine and wine tricks, which of course I am going to have that on the system. Currently, if I can remember the password, everything is at the current. Up next, we need to use wine tricks to install a few extra bits and bobs. Most importantly, exact and MF. Now, notice what we're doing is telling the wine prefix to install to our comp data folder. So you will have to change this directory to point at this folder wherever you have Steam installed. For me, I have it on its own drive. It's just under Steam, Steam Games. Yours will probably be .steam or where you've decided to put it. And just point it at 601150 for Devil May Cry 5 and prefix forward slash. Then after that, we're going to say wine tricks, exact, and MF. So let's run that. Already installed on this system, but you get the idea. And last but not least, we need to launch the install MF64 that was included with a zip file that we just downloaded. But we need to point it at the correct prefix like we did with Wine Tricks just then. So same story, different day. Point it at the directory that you have the comp data 601150 prefix installed in. Keep in mind, if you're not doing Devil May Cry, you'll need to find the prefix, well, the comp data ID for that game. But once we do that, we're just going to run the install mf64.sh. Once that completes, we have a nice little node. You need to get the mfplat DLL in your application directory. Easy enough to do. Let's close this and let's go back to the folder that contains install mf64. And there it is. So convenient. Let's copy that, and we're going to put that not in our comp data folder. No, no. We're going to go to Steam Games, Steam Apps, Common, Devil May Cry 5, and paste it there. That, that's almost it. I did notice when I initially launched the game that it was set for DX12. Surprising that Proton could handle that at 9 frames per second. But uh, one thing you might want to do is edit your DM5 config INI. 
we have that here. One thing I did was change this from 12 to 11 so it would work. You know, little things like that make big differences. Okay, now, how does it run? Let's take a look. That's it. If we did everything correctly, we should have it up and running. You can see I'm using a 2060, not a super duper edition. Using the 440 NVIDIA drivers. Again, um, I don't know how those would run on AMD. Or like the 5700 XTs and all that fun stuff. But um, according to ProtonDB, it seems like it's doing okay. So good on that, but everything should work and you should have a good time with it. So that's going to do that. As always, if you find what we do valuable, consider popping over to patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast and kicking us a few shackles. All right. Have fun. Bye bye.